Yes! For sizzle, my dear snizzle, baby! Woo! Coyotes are attacking people. This is not good. There's been a couple of instances I've seen on the news in the last few months. Literally, me and OSG and Emmy were just watching the news. And uh, someone got attacked in a city not too far away from us uh, by these coyotes. There was actually like two moms, like mom joggers, that were out there and the coyotes came and ambushed them. And I've also found out that there are, um, they're big, ferocious mountain cougars. There's mountain lions, there's cougars up in these woods. The last sighting was literally off uh, the road that I live on, which is crazy. The point is we have dangerous game roaming around these parts and I am determined to get this coyote, I guess I'll call him Wiley, that keeps coming around the yard. I discovered a device that allows you to detect movement. It sends like beeping signals when something is moving. It's actually for like cars and people, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set it out because instead of just staking out and sitting out here and waiting for old Wiley to come through, I'm gonna get some detectors. And when I hear that beep, 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 I'm gonna know something's moving in the yard. Could be a hog, could be a deer, but it also could be Wiley and I'll be ready. I want deer to come back in the yard. I've already emphasized that. They're not gonna be coming around the yard when it just smells all like coyotes around here. It's been here ever since I put up a game camera. It's been showing up. <laughs> Pretty sure about a month ago it ate one of the neighbor's cats because they were outside yelling and they were like, Mitzi, 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 come here, Mitzi. I could hear coyotes screaming in the background. They're like, oh, kitty tastes so good, oh. So yeah, basically that's how it goes. So I'm on a hunt for a hunter out there. Just to give y'all an update on the progress of my deer, which old Wiley took off with the other day. This is the uh, the skull that I have sat in some Dawn liquid and some hot water for a couple days now. And basically all the meat is out of it. I know it's not the perfect job. This is my, my first time doing it, but it looks okay. And it's ready for the bleaching process. And then I'm going to put that on some wood. It's going to be very pretty. And speaking of wood, I am not finished with the bedroom, the spare bedroom, the guest bedroom right now. So I'm literally working on uh, completing the planks in there, sawing the stained cedar planks. OSG has been on me to get this done for months and I've put it off and it's almost Christmas time and, and I just like with working with wood, but I don't like little tedious projects like this. I like cool stuff like building my desk or, or doing a, uh, a cool European mount with my deer. But I tell you, when you live in a house that's pretty much covered in all cedar wood, you better be getting some cedar and you better be learning how to saw it and patch little places and things like that. So we got a lot of cedar on hand here at the house. Look at this progress right here. Look at these bonus points husband bonus points everyone stacking up to a solid probably like 45 points i don't know what that gets me really but there's a lot of points here i want to change out this right here this white molding and i think i'm going to take this off with a crowbar and then replace it with uh cedar planks and then do some you know some little trim work uh, just touch it, up, touch it up a little bit and do the same thing in here and just kind of use that as a as a shelf See, I mean I'm using it as a shelf currently it holds a lot of random stuff You know shotgun shells MTB boxes stuff that you guys have sent me that really deserves to be hung on the wall to Be honest with you. I would love to make the whole entire thing wood just frame out cedar everywhere, but that's years down the road Let's take it one pace at a time. All right, babe I ordered us beepers. beepers. Ordered ordered us beepers. I thought you said beepers. No beepers. Beepers. Beepers for the yard. I can't show OSG right now because she is feeding with her. <sighs> God bless all of you women out there. I respect. So I got these beepers. All right. It's gonna take them a day to get here. I ordered them off Amazon. They basically detect things like we could put them in our driveway we can know when people are pulling in it goes beep like you can make beeps i'm gonna put one like around the trees or whatever so when uh there's motion in the yard coming in we're gonna know so, so like danger 
The coyote can't creep up on us. Exactly. These joggers are getting attacked. They're bold. Remember that idea we had about getting chickens? I want chickens too. I want fresh eggs. I want fresh eggs, but we're not going to have any fresh eggs. I'm tired of going on about this coyote. So here we go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait until these beepers come in and we're see, we'll see what they're all about. See if they work or not. I don't know, but I think it's going to make a difference here. I'm waiting on the motion detection device to come in. Just sitting by the door. I've got to leave today. I've got to go on a little adventure, but last night, check the cams. Mega huge alpha dog comes in the yard, takes a mega huge alpha dump right in my yard. Look at that steamy fresh one right there. It's like they're playing with me. And I wake up at three o'clock in the morning screaming coyotes out here. They killed something. I don't know what they killed. Maybe a little deer or a piglet or maybe somebody's cat, who knows but they were excited. It was so weird because I got up, because I was thinking about them when I was going to bed. So I'm obsessed over the situation now. I pop up because I hear their screams. I'm like, oh, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm looking out the window, I'm looking, and then I'm seeing Emmy right there in the crib. I'm like, hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that they're right here screaming and Emmy's right there. I know one thing for sure, they are smart, but I think I'm gonna outsmart at least one, hopefully, trap this alpha dog or get this alpha dog out of here. I mean, it looked like a daggum German shepherd out there. Just noticed these coyote tracks going in a crazy pattern, back and forth, skirmishing. And this makes perfect sense with what I heard the other night. Look at that alpha dog, man. That's a big dog. Look at that. They were definitely grabbing something right here. There's a hog track right in the middle. You can see where they were planting down, scooting, turning around. Amazon letting me know that my beeper package is six stops away. Before the Amazon man could come, the daggum free range guy came. There's actually not a free range man that, that comes around. I want that job. I want to deliver coffee to people's doors. And be like, here, have you smelled this? Give it a sniff. Garlic, nutty chocolate and maple syrup. Oh, that sounds delish. Nom 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 nom. I love seeing that. I love coming downstairs, seeing that deer meat out. It's like, oh honey, what are we having tonight? What are we having tonight? We're doing meatballs. Meatballs. Spaghetti. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yes, spaghetti okay, that makes meatballs. sense. I was about to say, just meatballs. Just meatballs, mm. that's all you get. Mm. Deer balls, there you go. Deer balls and spaghetti. Oh yeah, the prime truck is here. Yes. We have it. Coyote catcher. Actually, anything watcher catcher. Let's open this bad boy up. See what it's all about. Okay, guard line. Warranties. Nobody needs those. Quick start guides. Don't need those. Manuals, whatever. Let's get to the goods. That's what the units look like. Brown. You can put a bunch of beep uh, things on one beeper. Ooh. Battery check. Still man, honey. Just know that. There's a lot of man in this manual. I love it when they put pictures in there. So, we're really slow. People like me can get it. How big do you want your meatballs? How big do I want my meatballs? That's too big. None of that. Family channel. I think. I don't know what channel this is going on. There it goes. So I know that's working, but I haven't paired it with the beeper yet, so. I need to set it somewhere. I need a test. Set that right there by Winston's Memorial. Okay, I'm moving. Moving through. There it goes. Oh. Ooh, baby, we got the ding dong working now. What if I'm a coyote? Just gotcha. Look over here a little bit. Hey, I got you, boy. Set this thing up outside. Oh, baby. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun with this for years. Hopefully. Okay, that's, I can see where this could get annoying quick. Tone her down, okay. There it is. Set up low level, so it'll detect everything. And it's kinda, it's a little uphill from this area where they normally, 
They normally either come through there or they come right through there. So we need one more test. The actual test of it in place in its, its real life site setting. Sit and be merry and watch YouTube and wait for the beeps and then come out strong, firing. Not really. I'll probably just come out here with a flash and I'm like, hey, where are you? Get out, get out here. Maybe if I yell at them enough, they'll just eventually go away. But you gotta be out there when they're out there to be able to yell at them. Look at that shiny, crappy guitar and the sundown light. It's so pretty. This reminds me of Brad Paisley right here. This, this setting right here. I need Brad Paisley to autograph that thing for me. You know? That dude can rip it on the strings. Dead gum, I wish I could play like him. I want you to stay up here and tell me if that thing is going off. Maybe we'll all be able to hear it. But uh, just kind of stand right here so you'll be able to know. And you can. Okay. So I'm going to head down there and we're, we're going to see if this thing works. All right. She is so content. So this is the first time that we've given her this little turtle. Hey, baby girl. She loves it. Nothing. Not worth it. Nope. It's not working. He didn't set it up. He didn't read the manual right. He didn't read the manual correctly, so it didn't set up right. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, you think that's funny. You got little Santas on your feet. Round two, here we go. Set here, I got another sensor. I guess something's wrong with that one. Ooh, oh. Is that Backstreet Boys? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go down there, honey. I need you to, you are feeding a child with your breast right now. Okay, I will, I will go check this out for myself. Okay, I got a wish to you up there. She's gonna tell me if this thing is still working. It's still flashing red, so I'm assuming it's doing its job here. Okay, here I go. It's working. Yeah. Let me get a little bit farther out here. It picks up behind the bush. Yeah, it picked it up again, didn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's working good. Uh huh. All we have to do now, y'all, wait for that to go off. Then we can come outside and investigate what is going on. I don't have to peek my head out here for, you know, 10, 20 minutes at a time. Just sit there and stare. And I've got another one of these. It's not working so good, but I can put it up in the yard and I can get two locations. I can put up to four out here and just have a quadrant. That's, yeah, four, that's a quadrant. And that is where I'm going to leave you today, y'all. So make sure to subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss what is going to happen. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens here as we listen for the rings and come outside and see what's going on. If you got coyote solutions, let me know in the comments down below. What should I do? Should I try to trap this guy? Anyways, thanks for being here, y'all. I can't wait to see you on the next episode. And I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are. See you later.